Okay, so um, it's just about wrap-up time, but one of the things that we've been doing um, the past couple of UK and offs is doing a bit of formal recognition of the many people who have contributed and contribute to UK and off over the years. Um, so the last time, um, but one last time we were in Manchester, we, we recognised various people who contributed to the programme committee. Um, so we have a little bit more recognition to do um, this time around as well. Um, as some of you who were at the, um, the annual meeting uh, may have been aware, oh dear, that slide's come out a mess. Um, we have two long-standing board members who were two of the founder board members, along with myself, of UK and off, um, Stroke UKIF, um, 18 years ago. Um, so um, Steve Dyer and Willie Black um, are kind of like, um, I don't know, giants of the UK internet industry. They've been doing stuff for, for a very long time. Um, and um, it, was, it was good when I... Um, the his, you know, some of the history of UK and office is something that I wanted to do about had the first first had the idea for about twenty years ago, but my current employer wouldn't let me do it. Um and then I took a career break. So UK and off kinda of started as a career break project, but while I was wandering in the wilderness between positions, um got together with Stephen Willey that I'd worked with before. Um and they provided um from UKIF some some formal infrastructure for that. So there's been quite a lot of synergy between what they wanted to do with UKIF and what I wanted to do with UK and off. And, um, you know, it's been great to work with them, a real privilege. Um, so, you know, please join me. They're, they're not here, um, but I hope we can we can do something um, a little bit more for them in terms of recognition. But, you know, please join me in, in offering a thanks to Steve and Willie for everything that they've done, all their support and wisdom and guidance over the years to myself and the other UK and off board members. Um, so... Um, and then there's, there's another piece, a more recent piece of, of UK and off governance um, about 10 years ago. Um, previously, we had something we called the Funding Council, which was basically a bunch of organizations that gave us money when we got desperate every so often. Um, when we upped our game about 10 years ago, when we got to the point of more than 100 people at a meeting regularly and, and had to do things on a more formal business, we set up the advisory committee from these and a number of other organizations, basically non-profit um, organizations with a role in the UK internet industry um, and that became the, the advisory committee which is something that the, the board referred to shared information with um, that's part of the annual meeting that we have was reporting to the advisory committee and it basically allowed us to have the important things of oversight and accountability to the community and UK and governance without that um, you know having to have a sort of heavyweight structure of um, elections and, and, and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, which was really, would, would have created so much overhead, it would have been difficult to, 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 to keep UK and off viable. So the advisory committee have also been a great help over the years. Um, and um, there have been various people who have been the representative for their organization on the advisory committee. And I'm afraid it's, there's been sufficiently many of them, it'd be quite difficult to recognize them all. But again, it's been really useful. They've kept us honest in a bunch of ways. Um, and also provided useful input and, 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 and the feedback. And over the past few months, and obviously in consultation with our existing governance structures, the other committees, and with the advi advisory co committee as well, we decided that we've got things to the point, we've got fresh blood into the board and the various committees, that we don't really need the advisory committee anymore. So effective um, this meeting, the advisory committee is being, is being wound up. Um, so um, what we wanted to do, um, as part of a recognition is just to recognize all these organizations that have supported and continue to support UK and off. Um, so um, Dinesh has some, uh, some nice little plaques that we want to give out. So um, if the representatives that I spoke to earlier, if you could all come up on the stage, please. So while we're gathering everybody, um, there, there isn't anybody from uh, Janet, Janet here or, or JISC, um, but I mean, Rob Evans has been the main representative of support there. So I'd just like to acknowledge them and we'll be sending them uh, a plaque. And also there was one for the RIPE NCC, um, which um, Angela took away with her earlier today. She had to, 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 to get back to the Netherlands. So, um, yeah, we need you to be in alphabetical order. So, Dinesh, do you want to bring the... I'll go in. Okay. What is that? <laughs>
Brandon, you're... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. A to here to, to Z at the other end. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, so, Brandon. So this is for the BBC. Um, Brandon has been the, uh, the BBC um, representative on the advisory committee. Um, and then next, next up. And of course, Brandon continues to do all kinds of cool web stuff, has stuff for us as well. So next up is Internet Systems Consortium. Um, give that to, uh, to Cathy Almond. Again, Cathy's done loads of stuff for, for UK and off in all kinds of other capacities as well. So, so again, thank you to ISC for all their, their support. Um, next organization is IX Leeds. Um, so um, Tom Bird is, is representative there. Um, so thank you, Tom, and thank you to IX Leeds. Um, and then next up is links. So, so Colin, one of today's speakers, is able to accept that for links. And finally today, LUNAP, which again, they've supported us in all kinds of ways over the years, um, sponsors and um, infrastructure services. So thank you, Richard. Photo opportunity, right? Oh, yeah. My phone's rebooting. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brandon can't take a snapshot because he's up here, but. Okay, so I'm not behind the microphone, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you all very much. Um, and, you know, moving away from the general organizational support, I just want to do, it's that point in the, uh, the meeting where we just thank all the people that have worked really hard um, to make it happen, uh, in particular Bogons and Portfast for the, um, the webcast and the uh, network connectivity support. Um, our committees and particularly new people that we have on the, the, the PC and the CC um, and the crew, everyone that's helped out, um, particular session chairs, um, um, Dave and Anne and, uh, and Emmy. Um, and um, all of our speakers. Um, so, um, um, and um, you know, our speakers all come here on their own time and their own expense. So, uh, so thank them for that. Um, and um, our patrons and sponsors. You know, once again, the sponsors this time, the associate level sponsors are IP4 Global by Hoco. I uh, hope you got your beer mug. Don't leave them with these beer mugs. Um, Smart Optics for the pints and packets last night, LUNAP, um, and, um, and work for the, um, for the, 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 the COVID consumables. Um, patrons, um, Flex Optics and um, new patron IPXO, I'm pleased to say, have signed up um, as supporting us for, for, for 2023. And again, ISC Links and RIPE NCC, these, these regular organizations that support us. And there are also a lot of you who support us as individuals with a small monthly payment, so we very much appreciate that, and that is still welcome. So, um, various ways you can support us. We really need more sponsors. We really need more patrons. Um, if you want to contribute an individual level, the friends, um, and um, and um, if you're interested in speaking, the call for presentations for 52 is now open. Um, so you can find, you know, please give us feedback on the meeting. Um, you know, lots of people voting on the talks. That's really helpful for the program committee to make sure that their idea of good talk is the same as your idea of good talk, but also in the logistics of the meeting. If you can fill in the survey, that's really helpful from, a, from an operational point of view. Our next meeting will be back in 15 Hatfields in London in September. Um, that will be on the 27th and 28th. Um, the call for presentations is open, as I said, so get, 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 get submitting. Um, for 2024, we're not quite sure whether we're going to do two or three meetings yet. We don't actually have um, firm commitments and venues. It, it, it just kind of depends how the finances of this meeting and, and 52 work out what we commit to next year. Um, and that's all of it from me. So thank you all and um, see you next time. Uh.